very strange with so many rocks in this hole. So that was, you know, backfilled with rocks as well. And uh, the fact that they're all broken open tells me something's going on here. Starting to rain a little harder. Uh, as promised, let me show you what I got out of the hole before I cover it back in. I'm coming back and we're going to dig this out, maybe even sift it. All right, on this rock here, I have the bone that you saw, a couple little pieces of brass, uh, melted lead, a couple pieces of melted lead there, a um, little piece of brass, got a neat, interesting nail. Well, it's not a nail. I suspect that's going to be a purpose-built some type of wedge. I don't know if we'll be able to figure out what it goes to, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's a gun part, really. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bag this stuff up, mark this spot. We'll come back on the ground is a little drier, maybe sift it. Uh, and certainly explore this a little more. I mean, this could be the wall. So hold it, I found a little button in. And there's another signal, so I went ahead and dug it. You know, it's like a loop. It looks almost like a, a piece of a chain, a light chain. Not 100% on it, but we'll save it and take a look at it. Um, kind of over on the other side of the site. Ooh, cow pie. Ooh, come on, like cow soup. And I dug a couple holes. I think these are all going to be iron. But I want to look. This one might not be, but um, I just want to look at these real quick. I feel like I really should concentrate where we were because there's definitely a lot of targets, a lot of good targets there. Uh -huh. Okay. No, that's not it. It's a piece of iron. Okay, so we got a uh, probably a nail, but I'm not 100% on that. But we'll bag it and look at it later. Go to the nail, fill that in in a minute. This one's actually a horseshoe. You can see it. I want to see if it's one of the old kind. Yeah, that's an old style. And one in my, probably the last video, you saw me dig half of one of these. Um, so that could easily be from the 1750s, no doubt. Check that hole out. All right, and then I had another little thing here. Nice dark soil, there's lots of charcoal in it. Um, I got a little nail right here. It's probably what I was hearing. It looks like a horseshoe nail almost. No, it isn't, it's uh, straight. It's got a crossbar, so I'm not sure what that was. This is definitely not a nail. I'll check these holes and uh, we'll tighten them back up and get you some more. What do you say? Yeah, that's about it. Might be something here, but I might be getting the shot. Uh, so I have a couple holes dug. My battery on my GoPro got weep and turned off, so I don't know how much of that I got covered. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and finish up finding the targets. This is one, and there's something right here. Oh, that's it. Yep, that's it. Okay, so this is a piece of melted brass. So this could be part of a gun, part of you know most anything that made out of brass, military or household. I don't think we'll ever know on that one. Um, yeah, okay. Next target is right here. Oh, we might actually already dug this one. Okay, it's a little squeaker here. I'm not sure. Ah, there it is. <laughs> what we have here is a very very fragile piece of pewter. I'd almost guess that's part of a spoon handle just by the looks of it, but it's like really falling apart. So I'm gonna set that right here for now and I'll have a special container for that. I'll check the holes too and fill them in before we go. Another, we've got three holes right here together and one other. So let's go ahead and check this. Now this is a nice signal um, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's okay. And uh, I can see, oh yeah, here, look right there, it's green. So that is going to be a button, probably by the size of it, or something else. Yep. <laughs> yeah, well, how can I go wrong, right? It's either a button or something other than a button. Yeah, so this is a nice, um, what we call a flat button. And I um, mashed up a little bit, and that could have been done by a plow, or actually could have been done during the battle. I mean, an uh, Indian could have like whacked somebody in the chest with a tomahawk and bent that. It's almost like a design on it too down there. But I'm gonna clean this off just a second. Hold on. Okay, um, what I think is a design might just be where it's slightly melted, but not 100%. It almost does look like a design of some sort. All right, so we'll bag that one. And we'll move on to the next target, which is right here. These are all close together which makes it nice and if, as I'm looking at the soil I'm seeing uh, little streaks of charcoal in there so this is still telling us a story about what happened and we have okay it's in my hand Let's see if it's in there nope I'll put that back probably this probably lead I would guess yeah okay um could be a fired musket ball I'm guessing clean it up a little bit 
Got that weird little groove in it like that. I found several of them like this, but I do think this is just a fired musket ball that hit something fairly, fairly solid up close. Let's bag it, and I'll check these holes too. Don't worry, and fill them in. And this is the last one. All right, right in the top. Should be in this layer right here. Oh, there it is. Now, at first glance, it almost looks like it could be a coin, but I know it's a button because I found one just like it on one of the other trips. That's going to be a nice early button. Yeah, there's the back the loop and the front, which I think was plain, but it had like a design on the outside. I looked them up. I think they said they were like 1740 or so, 1750, this particular design. Uh, don't quote me on that. You can actually see with the um, Virgin Mary in the middle. Um, I think that's where the loop is poking through right there. Nice early button. All right, I'm going to button up these holes. We've got one more. Let's go check that. Uh, we're going to fill these holes, button them up, and keep looking at some more. See the charcoal right there? And I had a... Oh, yeah, okay. This is... Um, I had a big iron signal in this one. And I can see it off to the side. And it's big enough that I'm curious about it. So I saved it for you guys. And I thought we'd just pull some. I'd really like to find some gun parts. Now, that could be a stirrup, actually. Is that a stirrup or a... Um, a uh, look, it's got leather. No, it's probably a root. Um, some type of little buckle or a... Uh, not a stirrup, but a... Uh, bridle bit. Ah, I've got to be careful with it because I just kind of bent it. Um, or uh, <laughs> barbed wire. <laughs> but this is a piece of barbed wire. Uh, probably not from the colonial era. I'd say probably more likely from 1940 or so. Something like that. Anyway, yeah, just barbed wire. Uh, came off a fence like that. They probably were taking it back here to the trash pile. I found a lot of pieces of this all through here. That's what a lot of the ironers that I'm hearing definitely not cloning but you see it was down it was down four or five inches mixed up in the plow plows you know mix up in when they do the plowing so that's again why I say anything we find here really to an archaeologist doesn't have a lot of um, um, you can't put a lot of, uh, um, of certainty on what you're finding because anybody could throw it in here at any time been mixing with a plow it has to get below that plow zone that's where the stuff that's where the history gets interesting yeah, it does. Okay, I have uh, several targets out of the round that sound like they're going to be goodies and not nails. You ready? It looks like three right here. Go to the first one. Let's just see what it sounds like. Yeah, it's out of the hole. So it's in that cloud right there. It's definitely not going to be iron. I can see a faint greenish right here. I'm going to assume that's going to be some melted brass. Yep. A melted brass. Okay. So I would think that we're still within the fort boundaries to find that. I can't imagine. That looks almost like two studs, doesn't it? Okay, let's double check that. So this one, hope it's not in the cow pie. Nope. <laughs> it's on the side. I had kind of a big uh, hole dug over here earlier. All right. That's yeah, small, whatever it is. Wow. Ah, looky. That's going to be a good one right there. It's going to be a nice brass artifact that's broken. Probably shoe buckle, I would guess. You know, I don't know what that is. Yeah, it is. Okay, this is this is part of a shoe buckle. That's where it would have swiveled on that little thing right there. Right in here was something. Okay, it's in that loose dirt. And I don't see any green stains yet. That doesn't mean that... This is the area where I found that uh, coin, too. So there could be some more coins over here. I don't actually see any staining here, so... I'm not sure about this one. This could be just a piece of lead. Or is that it? No, a little piece of chert. Probably right in here, actually. Ah, no. <laughs> That's it right there, I bet. I can hear it. No, there it is, right there. So That's probably melted musket ball. It's melted lead for sure. It's got kind of a rounded shape, so... Um, I'm going to kind of assume that was a musket ball at one time. Looks like it has little tooth marks in it, but... People can't bite bullets and uh, make that mark. You can't bite lead like that. I know I'll get a lot of people in this video saying, Oh, yeah, you can. It's all over there. You can read about it all the time, but... You know, it's easy to dispel that by taking a piece of lead, bullet-shaped piece of lead, or like a sink fishing weight, fishing thing, put it in your teeth and try to make marks on it. It's extremely painful uh, because lead is really hard and it'll actually break your teeth before you can even put much of a mark on it at all. Uh, when they were doing surgeries and stuff, you know, you hear they don't bite the bullet, you put the bullet in there for the pain. A surgeon would never put a small, heavy thing like that between your teeth because you would swallow it when you were screaming. 
what the surgeons did, and this is well recorded, is they would either take a stick and wrap rags around it and bite on that, or they would have a leather strap. I mean, the the doctors that went around actually had a thick leather strap they would put between your teeth. They would never use a little freaking heavy piece of metal <laughs> that you could probably choke to death on just as easy as smashing your teeth on. Just try it sometime. Go down to Walmart, any store, any fishing, any fishing department, pick up a lead sinker, one ounce, put it between your teeth, bite down on her. You wish you hadn't, I promise you that. All right, so uh, raining again. I got four or five holes, five or six holes opened up and one or two of them is gonna be something good. One for sure. I mean, everything's good, but let's start here. This is the furthest one up the hill. I got something small and squeaky right in there. Oh, I hope that's not a piece of aluminum. Is it? Yeah. All right, this is a uh, piece of aluminum and it's actually gonna be like, a, I think the top to a nail or a rivet. So that's not a good one. A lot of modern stuff in here, as you know, especially the closer, especially the closer we get to that fence and of course the trash pile. Now I got a bunch of holes opened up down here. Let's just go right down here and jump into them. Looks like maybe four. Um, one of these is gonna be phenomenal. I think it's like coin sound. Oh, heck, that one's not even out of the ground yet. Something right there, I haven't dug, but. Well, maybe, maybe it's in this loose dirt. Yeah, I bet that's it right there, isn't it? All right, so that is another chunk of uh, melted lead. You know, again, could have been a bullet, could have been a, something they were using to make bullets, who knows? And I'll just double check that hole. I'll fill these in in a minute. So this one, one of these is phenomenal. Okay, this one, yeah. That one's a pretty good squeak. There's gotta be something over there too somewhere. It's probably bleeding into that one now. All right, not a bad little squeak. This is, this is gonna be the best target, I think. I'm not seeing any. There it is right there. Look, it looks like a little bit of a roundness going on. I'm suspecting this is it, but it could be just dirt. Ah, it's dirt. Oh no, I see rust. That is a small buckle, small iron buckle. I mean, I've not really dug very many, if any, like that in my life. It's kind of odd looking. It looks almost like it's bashed in, but I suspect it was made that way. That's probably what it's hearing right here. Just double check. Oh no, look, there it is. is it, that's it's probably the squeak we're hearing. Definitely brass, it looks like it's gonna be melted. Hopefully we can identify what it might have been. But unfortunately, a lot of the things we haven't been able to. You know, I did find, and uh, probably already showed this on a video, but I might've forgotten. The very first day we were here, I found two melted, I think two melted buttons, two melted pieces of brass. And there's one piece of brass was kind of a strip. And I said, I'm pretty sure I said it on camera, it looks like a baby dragon. You know, it was kind of all oh, melted, funkily. I got to thinking about it, and they had something that looked like a baby dragon. It's called a uh, 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 dragon, well, they call it a dragon side plate or a um, serpent side plate. Um, and it was, a, it was a, a piece of a musket that helped hold the lock plate on. It was on the opposite side of the lock, uh, lock plate. And it was in shape, it had a kind of curvy shapes. And it you had like a, dra a dragon's head on it or, or a snake's head on it, serpent's head on it. And the Indians really loved those, okay? Those were put on what was called, a, I think, North, Northwest trade guns. They were trade guns that the Indians would get. And by the, eight, by the 1740s, they almost insisted that it have a serpent side plate on it for authenticity's sake. Because uh, apparently, you know, they were pretty well made. At least well enough that the Indians really liked them. And anyway, so that melted piece that I said looked kind of like a dragon, I think is a serpent side plate that is really, really melted. And um, if I haven't showed that to you already, you'll see it at the end of this series. And I'll point out to you what I'm talking about. All right, let's get back to these other signals. Pop that in the bag. Uh, that could have been what was in that hole right there. They just kind of co-mingled the two. I think I'll fill that in. Did we get this one? Okay, we haven't got this one yet. This is really jumpy. And I think it's gonna be something small. Maybe melted lead or something. Something in my hand, but it's small. Whatever it is, it's gonna be really small. Till in there. <laughs> Jeez, that's probably it right there. I saw a little flash of white, so. Well, it's actually not white. I think it's melted. It looks almost like a little lead ball, but I think it might actually be brass. Piece of melted blob of brass. Pocket that, double check it. There's more of it in there. Probably a bunch of little 
That's a 22 bullet right there, is it? <laughs> yeah, there's a 22 bullet right beside it. Kind of weird. Uh, 22 caliber modern bullet. Did we get this one yet? Yeah, or not. Man, that's like a really, really high squeak, but it's way too small for a large scent, I think. But I think that's gonna be brass or copper too. Or brass, rather. But it's small. It's in here. You know, it could be a modern penny too. I did find a diamond here the other day. Modern. It's in here. Right in the grass. That's probably it right there. Isn't it? Nope, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. Oh, okay, good. It's out of the grass at least. And I don't. Man, it's a weird little sound, isn't it? And one here. And here. I'm getting really. You know what? I see some fabric. Okay, that looks like some modern fabric. So I'm going to guess this is going to be like a uh, off of a tarp, a piece of like a a snap or something off a tarp. There's no way that's going to be old. And again, we are right off a little dumping area. All right, so let's let that go. Oh, I thought that one signal sounded a lot like a coin, but it must have been that melted brass that I heard. All right, I'm going to button these up. Ah, raining again. And uh, we'll get you out after we get four or five more targets. We just had a pretty good shower, so I had to put my camera stuff away because what I'm using is not waterproof. But I kept digging holes, so I got a bunch of holes to check out. And I think we're going to have some really good targets. And I got a really cool thing in my hand right here. <sighs> the reason I turned the camera on. I had a nice uh, big irony signal here. I was digging it up, and this little dude right here popped out of the ground. It looks like just a little... Oh, that's beautiful, too. That is freaking beautiful. Look at that baby. This is a, like an arrowhead. And it's not a spear point or a knife blade. but a beautiful little triangular arrowhead. I mean, just look at the workmanship on that baby. It would have been, uh, it would have had to, you know, the wood part would have been right where my thumb and forefinger are. And the shaft would have gone back, you know, through my hand. What a, what a gorgeous piece. That's the find of the day so far. By the French and Indian War, they, I mean, they were still using bows and arrows a little bit, but they wanted guns, they were shooting guns. Well, it could be French and Indian War related, I guess. Uh, but typically by then they were using guns. And uh, if not guns, they would make the arrowheads out of uh, uh, iron, make uh, iron tipped arrowheads or brass. That was pretty common too, because it's a lot harder than stone and easier to make than stone. But this is a beautiful little piece. I'm really, really happy with it. I suspect what I was digging is just a nail. But let's go ahead and check it out after I put this away. I got a bite to eat too. Let's look at the other targets. Um, my battery's almost dead and I just put it in, but I have plenty. All right, this is what we just dug. That's where the arrowhead was. This little tiny thing over here. Might've been what I was originally hearing. I don't know. We'll kind of whip through here pretty quick. Man, a small whatever it is. Drop half of it there. So it's in this. There it is, right there. Nope, <laughs> it's in here. Okay, um, I can feel something right here. Actually, it's a piece of melted. Um, I think it's going to be melted lead, but it could be actually brass. <sighs> Definitely melted though. It has a nice little shape. Don't know if we'll be able to figure out what it was, but. We'll put that in the bag. Unfortunately, you know, that's a piece of barbed wire. I bet that's, bar that's barbed wire from the fence. Okay. All right, let's go to some of the better signals. Uh, I'll fill that in in a minute. Something in the top of this one, and it's not going to be barbed wire. Could be modern, but it's not barbed wire. There's a lot of flint in there, huh? Yeah, it's probably a big Indian encampment here. You know, probably a lot of them over the years, over the centuries, millennia. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> I'm afraid of that. Okay, another nice little signal here. Don't see it yet. I don't think it's a pull down. I think it's going to be in here. It felt a little heavy. Ah, it's not. Wow. In here. Really small. Another little piece of melted lead. I'm actually glad we're doing it like this. Getting it over really quick. All right. Next one was here. Ooh, that's, that's a high squeaker. Let's look at it on the meteor. Yeah, that's a nice high. So it's going to be brass. Maybe even a coin if we're lucky. So we'll go slow. 
for some anticipation. Making me wait. Yeah, it is. I thought we'd see it by now. To be honest with you. No, I don't see it yet. Could just be a little tiny piece of... Oh, no. Came out whatever it is. Oh, it's not... Uh, that's not it, is it? Yeah, look at that. That is a piece of melted lead. Really surprises me that we got such a high squeak off of that, but... I guess it's the shape. Okay, I think there's something in here. Is that it? Yeah, it's either a button or a piece of melted lead. What is it? Definitely lead, so... I'm gonna call that a piece of melted lead, but we'll look at it closer later. All right, for the next one. Ooh, that's, now that, my friend, that's a high squeaker. That's a good high squeaker there. You can actually see some greenish look coloring in the soil. There it is, see it peeking out, can you see it? Light green, what is it? Well, it's melted. Whatever it is, is melted. So this way could have been... That looks like an arrowhead, doesn't it? <laughs> I was just talking about iron and brass arrowheads, but I think this is just a melted doodad. Who knows? There's that little serpent look. <laughs> I told the story earlier in the video, I think, of the serpent side plate. kind of looks like the same thing, but I'm um, not sure. But it's definitely melted brass. We're in a bag. We'll check. I'm gonna. I'll check all these holes too before and cover them up. Another one here. This one sounds like it could be. Oh no, that's a piece of iron. That's a piece of cooking kettle. Last video, I found a bunch of chunks of this. So far, I'm only found enough to like make one kettle. So there weren't a lot of them here that they left. It's could have smashed them up. Could have thrown them in the river. But it appears they didn't want to take them with them. I think that was it. Oh no, here's some more. Another big hole. This was a piece of iron. I'm pretty sure that's all that was in that. Okay, that's not, it could be, that almost looks melted too. And I thought it might be a knife blade or something, but probably not, but we'll look at it. Double check that. Another nice little squeaker here. This is not, well, it's low mid-tone. This is gonna be lead probably. Although I didn't pay that much attention to it. Oh no, sound sound better now, isn't it? <laughs> All right, now, melted. It's melted. It almost looks like pewter. See how it's kind of a little bit breaking apart, a little friable. So it's probably like a melted pewter spoon. Let's go here. Kind of skippy a little bit, so it's gonna be something small probably. Could be a button. What's that? It's right there. Probably fired musket ball, huh? Yep, that's what this is. That is a fired, I would say a fired musket ball. That could have been fired into the palisade wall or the chest or thigh of one of the colonists that were in here. All right, I think it was all. I'll button them all up, check them again, and get another set of holes for you. Okay, still in the area of the fort, kind of on the side where I haven't been finding this much stuff. A couple holes dug for us to check out, not too many, but just... This just popped out, so I thought we'll go ahead and get the camera out. Plus, it's not raining right now. This is going to be a bit for a horse. Now, it could easily be, and probably likely is, from, you know, a farm horse that was here. Uh, or, uh, wow, that's weird. That isn't <laughs> what it is at all. Uh, you know, I don't know what that is. That, that, looked like a, that is a snaffle bit. This is a bit to a horse, but there's something else in it, and I don't know why. Well, maybe that is the way they had it. Okay, so there should have been another one over here, I guess. You know, some type of weird bit. I've never seen one like this. Mm, don't know if that's going to date to the French and Indian War, but it sure is cool. We'll bag that one. Let's go check it out. I've got two more before my camera goes dry. Actually, I'm turn you off. Okay, my camera died on this signal. Um, <laughs> I guess I already put the thing in the bag. Yeah, okay. What it is, and I think I got the whole shot, is that is some type of horse bit. Um, I've never seen one quite like it. I don't know how old it is. Could be period, but I kind of doubt it. I'll check the hole, make sure the, the other part is not in there. should be two rings. Uh, yeah. Let me check that. Okay, it isn't. 
let's get these two holes over here real quick two other signals that I have out and uh, something kind of small here and then uh, I want to get these covered up it's in there Ooh, looky. <laughs> that is a piece of melted brass I'm gonna say that's a shoe buckle looks like a shoe piece of a shoe buckle to me I'll get it cleaned up later check the hole I'll fill that in in a minute uh, one other hole and then we're going to move back over there toward the boat there's a lot more targets over there all right something right here too that might be it yep okay so that is a little piece of pewter that could actually be the remains of a button it probably is i don't see a shank but i wouldn't doubt there's one on there all right starting to rain <laughs> gotta put you put you back under my shirt She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets. She's